Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy. This is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Uh, so what do we got going on today? Well, it's part three and the final chapter of our rum. What we're going to do is we're going to taste our cuts, decide what we're going to keep, and we'll go from there. Okay? Still works at Bro and needs your help. And there's something very easy you can do to give us a hand. And number one, it is subscribe. You'd be surprised how much it would help us out. It's down in that corner down there. Number two, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Number three, share us with your friends. Get the word out so everybody can check it out. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up at the end. And leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so let's get started. We got all our cut jars here. We're going to give everything it takes and decide what we're going to keep, then we'll start proofing it down. All right, so I'm going to start right here in the middle. Well, that definitely is a keeper. All these up here, they came out pretty real nice crystal clear. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all these. Now the ones that are coming in question is this down. That looks pretty nice. This is, I'm, I think I started getting in my tails right there. It's not as crystal clear as the rest of it. Let's see what it tastes like. It don't taste bad. But it's just not crystal clear and I'm afraid what's going to happen if I put it into my distillate it won't be as clear as I want it. Can you see how that's a little bit hazy? Okay. I think what I'm going to do I'm going to keep everything from here up. Alright. Okay. So let me, I'm going to put them in my faints jar. And we'll save them for next time. We never, never throw them away. There's, there's good alcohol in there. We'll put it in the next batch and we'll get that out. Okay. So let me get set up and I'll be right back. Okay. So we tasted all them. They taste fantastic. So we're going to, let's proof it down. And this is the easiest way I know how. We'll combine we'll them all together. I can smell a little bit of banana in that. Well, I'm getting about 85%. So I know that's going to have to get uh, proof down. All right, let me get rid of these jars. Okay, so I got. Uh, what jars in there I wanted to keep. Let's see where it's at, all mixed together. It is floating at 140 proof, which is 70%. Okay. 
So with that being said, Let's see what we got now. About 120. Still a little bit too hot for me. I'm looking about 80 proof. That's where I seem to like uh, my spirits at, that 80 proof. Yeah. And then mix it back and forth, that keeps everything all mixed up. Uh, 98 Need a little bit more Should be really close, I think. Quit bobbing around. At 90, it's a little just a hair less than 90.
It's about 82. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. Okay, as I said before that I wanted uh, one bottle of white rum. And I'm gonna pour it through two coffee filters. Uh, just because. Alright, so let me get this fish hit filled up and then I'll be back. Okay, so there's one white rum. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is I wanted one uh, bottle of a spice rum. So let's do that now. Alright, so I'm going to fill me up a quart jar, mason jar. Okay. All right. Let me get my ingredients and I'll be right back. All right, let's start putting some of our ingredients into our spice rum here. I need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now you could use uh, vanilla bean. Uh, I just particularly didn't have any. So there's one. And there's two. Okay. After that, I need one cinnamon stick. One cinnamon stick. Okay, the next thing I got going in is 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 my nutmeg okay I need one quarter or a little bit less I will say about an eighth of a teaspoon but I don't like it too much on there about eighth a teaspoon all right I need two cloves, one, two, two cloves, um, some ginger. I'm going to say a quarter or a hair less of ginger, quarter teaspoon. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of peppercorns. I need about a uh, a little bit of orange peel. I'm going to use about about two and a half inches long. Uh, probably a little bit too much. About three eighths wide. Two inches long, but three eighths wide. Orange peel. All right, and. I am going to add two tablespoons of it is liquid sugar. One, two. Okay. 
Alright. And I am going to, if I can find it, there it is. I am going to put a little bit of uh, toasted oak in there. Oops. I want a Me and scales don't get along. I'm putting in about a quarter ounce of toasted uh, oak chips. And it should take care of it. And like I said, we can always add a little more oak in there if we want to. We're going to put the lid on her. Alright, then we'll just let that sit. Yeah, I don't know. For a little while and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the rest of our rum, which I have one, two, three. Just about three quarts there. All right. So it's three quarts. I wanted to add. Uh, I'm gonna just age it on some oak. Okay. do is about a half ounce of oak for these three quarts there and like I said I can always add to it if I want to but I think that should be pretty good right there and that's how simple it is so now we just have to wait a little while and then uh, we'll go from there okay so that's 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 it for our rum what I'll what I'll do is Probably in a week or so, I'll be washing the color on my, uh, on just my oaked out rum, and what it would, what I'll do after it gets to the color that I want, I will strain it through some coffee filters and put it in bottles, and I think it's going to taste fantastic. The same with my spiced rum. I mean, you can see it's changing colors already. Uh, what what I'll do with it is, like I said run it through some coffee filters and put it in a bottle I think it's going to be really enjoyable um, so this has been real fun making this rum it's turned out pretty good uh, I got a good yield out of it uh, yeah, I think it tastes pretty good okay only one thing left to say two things I do that all the time two things left to say hey thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.